Donnie Benton says she does this every day. It's five years old. He weighs 49 pounds. Sitting on the other side of a kennel, she spends time with her dog Cooper. A judge says the hound mix needs to be put down. I can't tell you. There's no way to tell you what this has done to me. Cooper's been at the Flagler Humane Society for about nine months. The city of Palm Coast says back in February, he bit and seriously injured a man who was at Benton's home to clean the carpet. Officials say the man needed reconstructive surgery on his face. And about a month before that, we're told Cooper was deemed dangerous in Port Orange for biting a woman. Under Florida law, in that case, where a dog that's previously been declared dangerous bites a second time, Florida law is clear that the dog is to be euthanized. Benton claims the dog was being protective of family. The whole thing has led to a long legal battle. I've spent $10,000 in attorney fees. We've had fundraisers and we've had um, rallies for him. Cooper also has a Facebook page and a change.org page that has more than 4,000 signatures. Benton says a rescue group in Florida has agreed to take him if he's allowed to live. Why put a dog down when you have a place to go? that he'll live out his life there. He'll never leave there. The fight still far from over. Benton says she plans to file another appeal and even get state lawmakers involved. I'll keep doing it till the last breath is in my body to get him to the ranch. Cooper will stay here until his fate is finally decided. In Flagler County, Daniel Lama, Fox 35 News.